Howdy. First things first, I want to thank you guys for your subscribing, your comments, your enthusiasm. It's amazing. As an artist and a teacher, it, it heartens me to know that so many people are this interested in my project. And of course, the B36. Tonight, I'm doing this video on the radioactive aspects of the flight deck. Got my trusty Geiger counter, like so. This thing does not do alpha, it only does beta and gamma. So let's see what's going on here. We can do some subtle things. A lot of optical stuff in the 1950s was radioactive, including this. Your base level is going to be around 12 to 20 CPM. Anything over 200 CPM, if you were to say sleep beside an artifact, could potentially give you cancer. I'm given to understand that things like weaponized uranium, enriched uranium, is up in the millions, but that could be an inaccurate statement. Those clicks you hear are subatomic particles that are traveling through a, a void or an inert gas, which conducts electricity. Let's go over here and see what we can get. I wish I could simultaneously do this with the black light on so you can see which ones contain radium paint, which glow green. Well, not always, that's not a rule, but on the main instrument panel. The hot ones are green. This one is green. I got to thinking are concerned about radiation because one day I remembered the story of the radium girls. They used to paint these gauges. They used to take their paintbrushes and hone the tips to a fine point in order to be accurate. It's really fascinating stuff in the annals of American history that you need to look into. There's actually a really good movie about them. Nothing too dangerous here. You wouldn't want to sleep in this flight deck. But concerning radium painted gauges, let me grab the king. It'll stop around 4,000 CPM. That is definitely something you would not want beside your head for a prolonged amount of time or any place in your body. Once again, thank you guys so much. I've got so much more to, yeah, excuse me, material coming, not to mention reviewing of my artifact collection one piece at a time. I'll see you guys then.